weapon as a shield, neither. What are you shielding yourself from? And Amapal can't carry a weapon. Do you think neither is really the right answer? Given the process of elimination, that must be it. Amapel's hands aren't designed to hold anything, so it couldn't use the knife to murder the doctor. Which means Amapel wasn't the murder weapon, and the culprit couldn't have used it as a shield. It can't neutralize the toxic gas, and the high voltage shock would destroy it. So then, how did the culprit use Amapel? I think we'll find out if we continue down this path. like we've been brought back. But the door we opened earlier is closed again. Why's that? Yeah, I wonder why. Where was the culprit for the crime? Huh? Even the question is the same. Does that mean we gotta do it all over again? Well, the logic is still sound. There's no other hiding spot for the culprit besides the airlock. So you want to choose the same answer and keep going? If you do, you'll just repeat the whole process again. We'll just be brought back here if we can't figure out how did the culprit use Fuse to walk any more than I have to. Hey! Don't sit down! What should I do? Stand up! Stand up right now! Stop it. Leave me alone. If you want me to leave you alone, then help my useless master out! <sighs> Fine. Just one thing, then. We're back at... Where was the culprit before the crime? Because you're stuck at... How did the culprit use Amapau? With that in mind, these two questions are connected. Connected? Both the culprit's location and how Amapau was used? Help him out more! More, more, more! The culprit was hiding in the airlock, where you also left the robot, right? At that moment, only the culprit and Amapau were there. So maybe the culprit did something. The culprit did something to Amapau? Clues are always there, right under your nose. It's a detective's job to notice them. Did you notice anything strange back then? Any tiny detail? Try to remember. I remember. Something strange. Hey, now that you mention it, back then. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. So this is what I'm a pal sees. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? Did it break already? D I thought it was state of the art! No, it's alright. It's stabilized. There was a moment when the camera stopped functioning while I was controlling Amapal. It returned to normal pretty quick, but maybe. See? I told you it was right under your nose. You don't need any additional help from me. Right? That was a clue to help solve this mystery? Actually, everything in this world is a key to solving mysteries. You just haven't noticed them. Perhaps there is more you're overlooking. Was there anything else unusual? Something unusual? Something I missed? Hmm, not like Amapal's camera showed the culprit. Wait, that's it? Huh? Now that I think about it, 
Wasn't that strange? The culprit must have gotten ahead of our pal, but why didn't they ever show up on the camera? If the culprit went past Amapel to enter the doctor's lab, they would have been spotted for sure. Now that you mention it... But nobody showed up on camera. How did the culprit manage to pull that off? How can you move from the airlock to the doctor's lab without appearing even once on Amapel's camera? Hey, aren't you just adding another mystery? No. All the pieces are here. Huh? Yuma, the mysteries you face now can be solved with a single answer. A single answer? Sheesh. I talk too much. Stay calm and think about it. There's plenty of time. Or not. I'll keep reading while you wrap things up. Remember what he said, Master. All it takes is one answer to solve these mysteries. Use those weak brain cells of yours and think! Culprit's location. Amapel's usage. It's no function. Why didn't the culprit appear on camera? All this can be solved with just one answer? Uh, where was the culprit before the crime scene? Oh, on top! How did the culprit use Amapal uh, transportation? Well, what caused Amapal's malfunction in the airlock? Uh, culprit jumped on it. Why didn't the culprit appear on camera? They were on top of the head. Uh, they were inside uh, this one. I got it! The culprit rode on Amapel's head, using it as a method of transportation. The door opened! With every open door, it will be harder for you to turn back. Are you sure you want to keep going? Absolutely. I will find the truth no matter what. This is for the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Hmm. Hey, you said the culprit rode on top of all the pals. What did you mean by that? Literally what I said. The culprit rode Amapal and used it to get through. After we left Amapal in the airlock, the culprit came out of the decontamination device. Then they jumped on Amapal's head. The disruption in the footage was from the impact. That's insane. Is it? I think it's fairly reasonable. Amapal can withstand up to a hundred kilograms of weight. So, someone riding on it shouldn't affect its functionality. The shoe print on Amapal's head wasn't caused by someone kicking it. It was left there from the culprit hopping on and off. After that, the culprit simply rode on it as it moved toward the doctor's lab. By doing so, the culprit was able to evade the camera and remain hidden as they made their way through the lab. You're right. If it's true, then it does solve all of the previous mysteries. <laughs> I'm imagining the culprit riding on a robot! It makes me laugh! But Yuma, have you not realized it? You're still missing something. One major mystery remains. with that huge sign. The greatest mystery of this case should appear soon. Just the thought of it gets me feeling down. This case's greatest mystery?
This is the panel chamber. That means the doctor's lab is just beyond it. If we can get through here, we'll reach the goal, yeah? <sighs> when did the culprit get off Ama, pal? Is this the greatest mystery you mentioned? Uh, not exactly what I was envisioning. Well, this is the mystery to be solved, so let's clear it out. Beats me. When would it have been possible for them to get into the room ahead of us? While opening the door. Yes. The culprit murdered the doctor before Amapel entered the room. Which means the culprit had to have gotten... It was when the door first opened. At that moment, the culprit snuck into the doctor's room. Yeah, when the doors were slowly opening, just like this. That's when the culprit took their chance. Right. The moment there was enough space for a person to slip through, the culprit hopped off and went inside. But through the top of the door? Like this? a joke to you? Your deduction is full of holes. If this is a joke, it's not very funny. Master, you know what to do. Of course. Hmm. I'll take your garbage deduction and toss it in the trash. I am the saint of Kanai Ward, protecting it from filth like you! The culprit hopped off all of hell as the door opened, then slipped through the gap in the door. That's impossible even for Think the Slaughter Artist! Think about it. If all of Hal's line of sight changed just a bit, the camera would have caught it. No one would do something so risky. The crime would have been exposed. The culprit must be really lucky. What, did they use some sort of special power? Right. No. Vala Pal's line of sight changed just a bit. I'll flash through this mystery. Vala <laughs> Pal is designed so that when its hand is stretched out, it won't execute any other inputs. That's why when it was pressing the button for the door, the culprit didn't show up on the camera. <sighs> you little maggots. Don't get so full of yourselves. You're not getting out of here alive. I get it. So Amapel couldn't move while the door was opening. That's when the culprit took their chance. Since the door opens outward, it's possible to take advantage of the blind spot it creates. That's how the culprit managed to stay outside the camera's view as they entered the doctor's room. Hmm. So it's an elaborate murder that took advantage of Almapal's design, and even the direction the door opens. Whoever planned this must have really wanted the doctor dead. I guess you can call it an obsession. 
scary. Just like this passageway. Where will it take us? Perhaps a suite with the culprit's obsession in full display? A room of nightmares? Knock it off with the weird soliloquies. Let's go. You're really going? Huh? Yuma. When the culprit entered the doctor's room while the door was open... Huh? Yeah? At the time, the doctor was in the room, right? If the door opened and an intruder entered, how could the doctor not have noticed? So what if he did notice? It's not a big deal. Yes, it is. If he had noticed an intruder, the doctor would have turned to face him. Which means... He wouldn't have been stabbed in the back. That piece of trash is right! Your logic is flawed! Hey, what are you, on the phantom side now? Hmm. Listen to my incredible words of wisdom. Your crappy deduction is worth less than shit! Everything you do is a mistake! Deduction is inconsistent! It's full of inconsistencies! By your logic, even if the doctor could be stabbed, it wouldn't be from behind! That flame doesn't hold up! No! Culprit did stab the doctor in the back. That's how the body was discovered. That's why I'm saying your deduction is inconsistent. By your logic, the doctor couldn't have been murdered in that way! The culprit quickly entered the lab. But the doctor was in the room at the time, right? There's no way he missed an intruder. Running is noisy. So Wesker would have heard and turned to face the culprit. And not his back. Unless you think the doctor was asleep. Is there any trace of him being drugged? Even if he didn't look back from his desk. He would have heard someone coming! He didn't notice the intruder. <laughs> now you're spouting nonsense. Say whatever you want, it won't save you. There's a gaping hole in your logic. And there's no way you're gonna fill it at this rate. Because you, more than anyone else, you're the one refusing to see the truth right before your eyes. I refuse to see the truth? Vivius said the same thing, but... It's strange, don't you think? Isn't it about time you noticed that something's off here? Huh? You've solved many mysteries up to now, yet none of them are directly connected to the culprit's identity. That's because... 
The culprit is the hitman. If that's the case, why haven't you reaped the hitman's soul? And that would end the labyrinth. It's not that easy. The culprit will fight back, unless we solve all the mysteries first. Hang on. What are you getting at? In my eyes, the reason a single mystery hasn't been directly connected to the culprit is because of Yuma's reluctance. It's pushing away the mysteries that lead to the culprit. Huh? Subconsciously, you're closing your eyes to the truth. That's why you haven't touched on the hole in your reasoning. What hole? Whatever, that's enough. Just ignore this guy and keep going. Oh, hey! Yuma. Yuma. Jeez, go away! You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The huge hole in this investigation. What are you... Just ignore him! Let's review your deduction, shall we? The culprit took advantage of Amapau's locked position and entered the lab. And before the robot entered the room, that person stabbed the doctor from behind. However, they bumped into Amapal while escaping, causing it to fall over. That was obviously a mistake, but since it wasn't captured on video, they were able to avoid detection. After that, the culprit went inside the decontamination device in the airlock to hide from you. That's correct. So what's the hole in my deduction? It's before all of that. It remains the case's greatest mystery. Which is? How did the culprit get past security? What? We already told you that! The culprit rode on top of Amapal as Master controlled it and was taken all the way to the doctor's lab. But... If someone was riding on it, how did they get past the high-voltage shocks in the panel chamber? Oh. And also, how did they get past the toxin chamber? This is- You have nowhere left to go! Oh, come on! Why now? I won't let you maggots ruin the peace of Kanai Ward! As the king of Amaterasu Corporation and the guardian of Kanai Ward, I will stop you here and now! Perhaps this, too, is an obsession. Why does he insist on covering up the truth? Tell me, what will you do, Yuma? Are you going to stay willfully blind? No, I'll fight! Whether it's subconscious or not, I won't look away from the truth! I'll find the truth no matter what. This is for the Chief and everyone at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <sighs> <laughs> Good luck! You'll never find it. You'll scurry around this labyrinth forever, like blind mice. You'll run away, looking for an answer that will never come! Playing with your shit, Dutchies. You still haven't solved the greatest mystery. How did the culprit get past the security? The critical lab security system was always live. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. That security system. No living human can breach it! I flash through this mystery! A 
human could get past the panel chamber by using Fubuki's forte. In fact, that's how we got past the panels. The high voltage shocks kept destroying Amapel. But we reversed time every time that happened. Correct. So whenever it was struck by the current, you went back in time. But while that was occurring, the culprit, a human, was riding on top of Amapel. That person was burnt to a crisp every time you failed. But... Uh... Which means you killed the culprit over and over again. Vivia! If only you had chosen to remain ignorant, I would have walked beside you in silence. But if you intend to seek the truth, then I must stand in your way. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? He's going to betray you, Master. Betray me? It's up to you, Yuma. This is your final chance to save the world you believe in. What are you going to do? It's time to decide your past and your future. Why, Vivia? What the heck are you doing? <laughs>